Hi everyone, this is Pip and Jeremiah from JFK Living. Hey guys, welcome! Uh, if you didn't know something about us, we are actually both trained sommeliers. So we are here today uh, on Thirsty Thursday and we're going to do some wine tasting because uh, why not? Um, today we're going to go and uh, try some rosé um, that we've lined up for you. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Okay, so I'm going to start out with uh, this is uh, actually a Turkish rosé now. Not a lot of Turkish wine out there. This is from um, Pasheli or Pasheli, I'm not 100% how you pronounce it. Uh, the grape is uh, Shalkarasi. <laughs> Turkish wine, I tell you. If you haven't heard of it, don't worry, neither had I. <laughs> so this is a really wonderful pale colour. Now a lot of people think that rosés are sweet, but these are actually all completely dry. Um, so very good with um, any kind of food. Um, lots of wonderful delicate aromas of wild strawberries and raspberries. <clears throat> A really uh, good acidity to it. <clears throat> you can definitely uh, taste the strawberry in this one. Mm. Mm. But it's not overpowering. It's not that uberly sweet strawberry. It's that strawberry that still has a little bit of tartness to it as well. Little uh, green stem of strawberry as well, mm. I think. And there's like a nice little richness to this as well. It's actually been aged on its um, leaves for about three months. Um, so it does have that kind of nice rich roundness to it. Mm. From the Aegean region of Turkey, so not in the, next to the Mediterranean Sea, which is a beautiful part of the world if you ever get to go visit. Um, this is uh, 1099 um, on the shelf. All of these wines available um, at Trainos. Hi Nina! Hi Nina! <laughs> uh, Trainos have two stores, uh, one in Malton and one in Evesham. Um, Nina uh, heads up the flagship store and she is a great lady to go speak to if you have any questions about wine. Okay, I'm gonna start pouring for our next one, Pip. Start. Okay, <clears throat> so the, uh, the next one, this is uh, Chateau Clou du Pain. Um, this is uh, actually a rosé from Bordeaux. Mm. You don't see a lot of rosés from Bordeaux. No. Obviously, most people... Um, big put, reds. Uh, big big reds. reds. Yeah, or sweet white wines. Those yeah. are the ones you tend to get. Um, but this is a rosé. It's 100% Cabernet mm. Franc. Mm. <coughs> Cabernet Franc, one of my favourite grapes. You love Favourite grapes. Franc. Let's see what it has mm. in store for us. So this is a really nice kind of tart finish to it. Tart strawberry, I think it's a little hint of cherry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. A little bit more in depth. Mm. Mm. Cabernet Franc, a little mm. bit of a, a, a deeper grape there. I think there's a lot more acidity to this wine as well. There's a lot more kind of juiciness. Now, when people think about sweetness, sometimes they confuse uh, juiciness and sweetness. So it does have that fruit aspect and it makes your mouth water, which you kind of think, oh, maybe that's sweet, but actually it's the acidity in the wine that's giving you that feel. Oh, it's really good. It's delicious, it's isn't it? For a hot day like that, <clears throat> take a, a bottle or um, two. This one is actually <laughs> the cheapest one we have. This is only $9.99, again, available at Trade Really? House. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Can't be that. Mm -hmm. Get a case. It's always better because you always want some. <laughs> Obviously, a warm summer's day is perfect for rosé. They do have a thing called a rosé season, but more and more these days people are drinking rosé throughout the year. And when you've got such wonderful dry styles, yes. Um, just yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. So, so third wine. Third wine. What so we this is a uh, Bandol rosé. So <sighs> Bandol is uh, in Provence, uh, down in the south of France, and this is the top region in all of the world producing the best rosé. Yeah. It's renowned. Hands for down. It. Yeah. Hands down. The best region. Uh, this is from Domaine uh, de la Tour du Bon. Um, and this is a blend of grapes. So we have some Mourvèdre, we have some Sanso, mm. we have some Grenache, and we have some Claret. Very typical expression of uh, Bandol rosé here. Definitely. Oh. Now this is wonderful. This has like a really wonderful floral nose to it. I think with the addition of the Claret, which is very floral, mm -hmm. a very floral grape. But now it's also the region because you have a lot of uh, wildflowers and lavender in that region as well. well. Definitely. Yeah. So. <clears throat> All about the terroir. All about the terroir, indeed. Yes. So this, full of fruit, um, a little touch of spice and citrus peel, it's definitely a richer, rounder style of rosé. Um, 
still goes down very easily yeah. though. This is the 2017 vintage. Um, Are what, they all 2017? They're all 2017. Okay, good. What I would have liked to have shown you is actually a bandol that has some age to it because it does wonderful things in aged uh, bandol rosé. Now most people think to only drink rosé when it's super fresh, um, but actually having that little bit of age to it, it does these wonderful things. So if you do pick up some bandol rosé, do try to um, uh, uh, age it if you can. You can resist drinking not it. Not too long though. <laughs> it's not like you're aging it like a red wine or even a... Uh, well, you say that. Oh. Yeah, actually, actually, there are um, some people who've aged the Bandar Rosé for 20 years and it kind of comes out like this wonderful thing. Now, I wouldn't recommend it with these two, no. um, but definitely with a Bandar no. Rosé. If you can wait 20 years. I, for one, I don't think I can. And as you see, our dogs are in the background, so um, Asha <laughs> was saying hi. <laughs> so. <laughs> so this one, uh, this is $22.99 on the shelf, so definitely um, a little more expensive, but worth every every penny in this particular all right. So Wonderful. all available from uh, Trainos, go and see Nina, go and say hi, um, say Pip and Jeremiah, um, set you in. More, because we <laughs> yeah. can't toast exactly with that empty glass. So guys, thank you so much for joining us on Thirsty Thursday. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we'll have another video next week. And make sure you go see Nina at Trainos and uh, get this wine. Thanks. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So good. So good. <laughs>